Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from Alex Merced Coder and welcome to another uh, video, another video um, about object-oriented programming. So this is part of the advanced object-oriented programming, but this is going to be more with uh, TypeScript and focusing on sort of uh, a TypeScript pattern that you might find very useful called mixins. So you can, you can use that factory method that we talked about in the first video where you create functions that will either create new instances of a class or you just create objects and return them to you. Either way, what the idea is that instead of designing all your functionality in the class, you create like a shell of a class and add the functionality in the factory function, or you just don't use a class and you just return an object in your factory function. But you let you, you let your, your function kind of create what you need to be created and just store it in a variable. So that way whoever's using your library just doesn't have to think about these things, yet you have a more flexible way of, of a more flexible workflow. So now mixins is a feature in TypeScript that allows you to actually mix classes together. Cause that's the problem. The problem is you basically, if you go, let's say you're three levels deep in your class hierarchy, two classes that are sort of parallel, like sister classes, brother classes, sibling classes, they, they, they you can't mix them together. And technically you still can't in TypeScript, but there is, Within the features of TypeScript, there's a method of doing so, and that's called mixins. So, so instead of creating classes, um, so let's, let's delete all this. Okay, so instead of creating classes that represent everything uh, about that that particular char character, let's say, let's say I created a class that described different things that the fi that the spell can do. So I'll create a class for fire starter. Okay, so fire starter equal um, is basically just has a method that's called fire. Okay, takes no parameters. And basically just console logs fire. Okay, then I have another class called, called Healer. And all the Healer does is they have a method called Heal. Okay, and they console.log. Heal. Now, I can't just like mix these two. Usually, what you can do is you can you can mix and match most types of things in like uh, in in uh, TypeScript. So you could smush two interfaces together. You could smush an interface with a class. You can smush a namespace, and it, what it does, it just kind of assembles them together. But not with classes. It won't let you. But there is a workaround. Okay, what you do is let's say we wanted to create a character class. The first we'll do is we'll create an interface. Of character, so we'll call interface care care. We'll just use VG car again, VG character, video game character, and we're going to say that it extends. So I'm not creating a class; I'm creating an interface. It extends fire starter and healer. Let me make sure I have the right syntax here for including both. Okay. So basically we're saying an interface called VGCar basically is a mix of Firestar and Healer, which means it's going to have a member called fi Fire, which is that function, a member called Heal, which is a function. Okay, and then I just say it's an empty object, so we're not going to add anything beyond that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we mixed it all together already. Here's the problem. An interface only copies like the value. So basically it knows that there's this VG character. Um, that has a, a function member called fire and a function member called heal, but the actual what heal and fire does aren't implemented. It just, it doesn't, because interfaces aren't implementations. It just basically is a template for what an, an item or data piece should look like. Okay, so we know that it should have a heal and a fire, but what heal and fire do, we don't know. So that's what we need. The, so now we need to come up with a class. And we, say, and we name it the same thing. By naming it the same thing, TypeScript will mix the two together. Okay, so I do class VGCar, 
okay it just automatically is going to mix those two together the problem is all this has is the again the members not the implementation it doesn't have the definition of what he fire and heal do so we're gonna have to fix that so let's save and then that's where this helper function is going to come in so again where you get this helper function you can get it in the typescript documentation so look up mixins and at the very bottom they have the code for the helper function so you're going to want that okay for this apply mixins function i don't know why it's just not built in but it's 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 there okay so basically that is that so then we just have to mix the two let me just actually take a look at how that function is set up again so here's how the function is going to be set up so basically what we do at that point we're going to do apply mixins First thing is the new is what we want everything mixed into. And then we have an array with our two classes, fire starter, healer. Let's see here that I ask for your car. Cool. Okay, so then what that's gonna do, literally what this function's gonna do is gonna say, hey, let's take VG character, take these two classes, and we're gonna make sure that the members or the properties that match this and this have the same implementation. So it goes in there and takes the definition of those functions from there and puts them all into here. So I'm able to give it this function. So I could have a lot of these little mixing classes and just mix them as needed. And I can have this apply mixin function within an wrapped inside a factory function. So that way, Whoever's using the library doesn't have to worry about it, but I can just mix and match what I need. So basically, what would be inside the the mix function? This would be the class would be defined outside, and then I would just define the interface for that particular version as we make it, and then, or actually, I would just probably have this whole piece right here inside a, a, a factory function, and then it would just return, and then we can just instantiate a new class. So Bob. Oop, let's create a new Bob. So we're going to say const Bob equals new VG car. And there's no constructor anyway, so, but we still got to put the thing. So then Bob should be able to use fire. So let's give it a shot. Now this is not JavaScript syntax. This would not work in JavaScript. So I'm gonna to need to run TS node on this one. TS node practice dot TS. And let's see if I got it all right. Or if TypeScript's gonna complain and get mad at me. And it got mad at me. So let's see what it got mad at me for. No property name, object define property prototype. This type undefined is not assignable to type property descriptor and this type. Okay. So this is the problem with the helper function. It's saying object dot get own property descriptor base tour base character for type dot name. Okay, so something is up, okay? Because what I've done is I've actually copied the exact example. I just changed, erased my example, um, which followed the exact steps. And then I just copied the example from the TypeScript documentation. I'm still getting the same error, this error right here. So I'll leave that up there so that way you can read it for a quick second. But basically, this is the way it should work. Um, but let me just walk you through it, the, the example on the TypeScript documentation. It's the same idea. So here we have class one. Here we have class two. What do we do? We create a base class. That's gonna be the class we're gonna mix it into. And then we create an interface with the same exact name that mixes those two other classes. And basically defines the interface as an object with anything inside of it. And then you have the helper function, which is the same helper function that we had before, right down here. And then that mixes them together. For some reason, it's not working. What command am I running? 
Do, 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 do. I was running. Oh, I'll just do it the easy way. I can just do this. Yeah, I was running TS node. Wonder if it behaves differently if I compile it. TSC practice dot TS. Do I get the same? I should get the same error, but we will find out. Let's see why, even if I have the exact text from the documentation, why does it run funny? Hey, it compiled. Okay, so that means if we go in here, and here you can actually see the compiled version of that. So there, see, it's, it's defining everything and doing all the thing. Let's run node practice.js and see if it does what we expected it to do. Yeah. That is, so in that case, maybe the issue was we were, because it just doesn't work at runtime. So in that case, let's go back to practice TS, load back my old example. Fire starter healer, Bob fire. Take a quick look through all of it. Let me take out that, I, didn't, I don't need that. Uh, save, let's try to compile it. So TSC, practice.ts. and see if it compiles. And it compiled. So when we run the JavaScript file, so the practice.js, what should happen is that Bob's gonna use fire because that's where we left off. So the idea is we combine the two classes. So fire was defined in Firestarter, but I assigned Bob the VG car class. So if the mix and work, I should have access to the fire function. But the only way to find out is to actually run the JavaScript. So node practice.ts and no there's an unexpected token somewhere did I run the right thing node practice.js yeah and it's saying that this extra token drive c tour is what line What I should probably do is clean up the other file. Let's clean up this file. Delete all the stuff I commented out. Okay. I don't think I made any other changes to that. What I'll do is I'll recopy the helper function just to play it safe from the TypeScript documentation. Save. Let's compile it once again. And let's run the, the JavaScript once again. And we still have an unexpected token. Okay, so there's something wrong with my particular example, but the TypeScript example works. So what we've learned, and again, basic control flow, so even if my particular example didn't quite work the way I expected it to, um, the flow is still the same. The idea is you have two classes with things that you want to mix together. You create an interface with your mixing class that extends the two extra classes, and then you create a class with the same name, and then you're going to use the mix and helper function to mix those two classes together. And then you can instantiate from there. Um, and again, if you test it out with TS node, it's going to error out. So you have to compile it to make sure that it works. Um, so that's mixins. You know, considering all that work, it just seems like it might be easier to do the uh, factory functions from the previous video. That just seems like you kind of end up in the same place, but it just seems like a lot simpler. Um, but just so you're aware, this is a feature in TypeScript and something you can do. And decorators are going to be another way you can add functionality to your classes uh, or functions or anything. Um, so you can even use decorators to modulize your functions. And we'll, we'll cover that in an upcoming video. Have a great day. Enjoy. Thank you very much.